The federal government is on the verge of a shutdown that could have widespread ramifications affecting public services, causing financial strain for employees and stirring political tensions. Here is the news. The government shutdowns happened when Congress failed to pass legislation providing necessary funding, subsequently signed into law by the president. In the absence of such legislations, federal agencies are compelled to cease all non-essential operations and paychecks are withheld for the durations of the shutdowns. The critical deadline for government's funding is October 1st, coinciding with the commencement of the federal fiscal year. Shall Congress not succeed in approving a funding plan endorsed by the President, the shutdown will officially commence at 12 and 1 a.m. The ramifications of a government shutdown will be felt most acutely by millions of federal employees, encompassing roughly 2 million military personnel and over 2 million civilian workers nationwide. Notably, nearly 60% of federal employees are situated within the Defense, Veteran Affairs, and Homeland Security Departments. Federal workers operate across all 50 states and have direct interactions with the public, ranging from transportation, security administrations, personnel ensuring airport security, to postal service workers delivering mail. During shutdowns, several federal offices may either close or reduce their operating hours. In addition, to effective federal employees, the government shutdowns could disrupt a wide array of government services. Individuals seeking government services such as clinical trials, or arm permits, and passport applications may experience delays in processing. In response to the looming shutdowns, the Senate took a significant step on Tuesday by defending a temporary funding measure aimed at extending government's funding until November 17th. This proposal allocates approximately $6 billion toward Ukraine's war efforts and an additional $6 billion for disaster relief. However, the Senate's move faced substantial challenges in the Republican controlled House, where hardline members have opposed increased funding for Ukraine. This ongoing disagreement heightens the risk of Congress failing to pass a short term funding bill, known as Continuing Resolutions, prior to the October 1st deadline, thereby triggering a government shutdown. 